Question 6. You discover that your wonderful one-year-old child is, because of a mix-up at the hospital, not yours. Would you want to exchange the child to try to correct the mistake? Well, reading this one, um, I really wonder if this one is about uh, ethics and morals and values, or whether it's a question which is really just saying, do you have any common sense at all? Because I would say that anyone with any common sense would try to correct this mix-up. You don't want to go through life wondering what's happening to your actual biological child all that time. Oh, is someone else out there looking after my child well? How's he doing? I'll make it a son for the sake of grammar. Um, how's he doing? Is he doing well? Is he happy? I don't know because he's out there somewhere. And you can't, you can't then tell those people over there, oh, by the way, that's my son, and so I want to be involved. This total stranger, uh, you know, remember me from the hospital? I just want to be involved in, in that child's life. Uh, for the rest of his life, I, I want you to inform me of everything that's going on because, oh, no reason. Uh, no, you're going to have to say, uh, come up with some explanation, aren't you? You're going to have to say, um, because I'm actually the biological father, which, yeah, means obviously that this child is actually yours. So, you know, you you either have got to just abandon your child uh, and, and live in, in, in fearful, fretful ignorance, or you've got to come clean. Now, I have found out that my wonderful one-year-old child uh, isn't, isn't in fact mine. How have I found out? It's not said here, but if I uh, was somehow able to find out, then it's reasonable to imagine that um, my, my, my fantasy wife um, is likely to, to find out, and that the, the, the parents of who are currently looking after my child, they're likely to find out as well, and maybe uh, someone at the hospital uh, is likely to realise a mistake. A number of other people quite likely already know, or in the future, are likely to find out. So why wouldn't I sort it out now? one-year-old child. The child's fine. Uh, you know, this wonderful child I've brought up is probably, you know, in, in thriving and in good health. I've no reason from the question to believe otherwise, and my child I've no reason to believe his sufferings. Um, so if you change parents at the age of one, will you even remember your first parents? Probably not. I mean, if this, if this child were eight, I think this would be a more difficult question to, to answer because a child of eight has, has got a, a formed personality and, and memories that are going to stay with them for the rest of their lives. But one? No, 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 no. He, he'll forget. He'll be fine. Um, I have no reason to believe that uh, my one-year-old child has, has suffered in the hands of, of the other couple bringing my, my child up. And presumably that couple is also uh, do, acting on the belief that they're bringing up their own biological child and so they're doing everything uh, to help that child. So, yeah, it's fine. My wonderful child. Why do I think my child's wonderful? Because I thought the child was mine. Now, you may say that this child is particularly wonderful, but actually, don't all parents think that their child is wonderful? How many times has someone said, oh, isn't he beautiful, and have held up this sort of ugly, drooling lump covered in spots, blah, 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 and you're um, obligated to say, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's quite an ugly child. But it doesn't matter. In the eyes of a parent, a child is always flipping wonderful. <gasps> he smiled, isn't it wonderful? No, actually, children tend to do that. Um, but um, so I've got this wonderful one-year-old child. I've, I've done the right thing. I, I've brought this child up. Uh, he's healthy and thriving. And I can then say to these people, by the way, this child's actually yours. And get rid of all so many problems that are likely to be stored up. There's the constant tension. Will my wife find out? Will they find out? Why do I want to go through life thinking, will these other people find out? And what if they discover that I knew? Can you imagine? Um, things are likely to be going quite well with, 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 between uh, my wife and I right now. I mean, we, we've got a one-year-old child. We're at that stage in the marriage. Things are probably, probably uh, fine. But what if, when my child is quite older, uh, she finds out that I knew? Don't you think that's likely to spend, spell the end of our relationship, the end of the marriage? Why store that up? And why live in fear of that coming? What if she finds out? What if she finds out? What if they find out? What if the police find out? Um, if you knew and someone else finds out that you knew and you didn't say anything, you idiot, why didn't you just... Exchange? I, there's nothing in this question uh, to say that, uh, that my child is not wonderful. Uh, I will think, being that child's uh, parent, that uh, my child, my biological child, is wonderful. Um, uh, did you know, by the way, uh, it's a bit of a, 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 bit of a, a tangent here, but um, you are 400 times more likely to be murdered by an adoptive parent than by a biological parent. 
And if you're an adopted child uh, out there, I don't want to worry you, by the way, because that's 400 times a really, really small number, such that even though you're 400 times more likely to be murdered by an adoptive parent, an adoptive parent is still very, very unlikely indeed to murder you. People generally look after children. If you're an adoptive uh, uh, parent, then you've, you've, you've decided, you've gone out of your way, jumped through quite a few hoops to have a child to bring up. So, no, um, parents generally uh, don't harm their children, generally do what's uh, best for the children, be they adoptive or biological. My child's probably fine. And uh, then I will be bringing up my child and, hey, maybe, you know, I, I, we'll forge some relationship uh, with that other, other um, uh, family because, you know, uh, I've brought up their child for the first year. So that's quite a bond, right? And I, I hand over this presumably perfectly fine baby to them. And, and you know, maybe I've made friends for life. They're, they're, you've got a little sort of semi-extended family and what's wrong with that? Um, so when I discover that my wonderful, of course, I think is wonderful, one-year-old child is he'll be fine, he'll forget it anyway, uh, a mix-up uh, at the hospital uh, is not mine, yes, I'll exchange it, because um, I, I think I've got some common sense. 